Oh, g'day scrappers. Not street scrapping today. We're going school scrapping instead. So, I thought I'd just take you on for a, a little ride and see what we pick up from a school today. So, even though I've got quite a lot of scrap from street scrapping and stuff, obviously my main bread and butter is getting e-waste from businesses and schools and uh, everywhere else. So, first up, before I head to the school and do that pickup, I've got a load of cardboard, some scrapped out CRTs and stuff like that, a little bit of plastic. So I've got to stop off at the recycling centre and empty up my van and then I'll head up to the school and start doing um, this pickup. Okay. About quite a decent pile. It's uh, always really good to get rid of this plastic. Uh, sorry, <laughs> cardboard. It's just a relief. It gives me frees up a lot of space and. picking up e-waste and stuff you're always getting cardboard boxes sometimes I do pickups and all it feels like I'm picking up is cardboard boxes okay so here we just got a couple of scrapped out monitors a printer some scrapped out uh, keyboards, polystyrene and plastic. Okay, here we go guys. Look at that. Nice, quiet school. Oh, there's still one kid. I think he forgot that there's holidays. Uh, there's still a few kids around. But... Okay, looks like mostly laptops, <coughs> some PCs, there's a nice server, oh, At least we've got one good server. It's like a lot of laptops. Apples. MacBooks. Well, a bit of value in a MacBook. Okay, all systems go. Well, I'm going to have a bit of fun with some MacBooks and some asses. Don't mind a few asses. Asus. Uh, always try and get a couple of monitors at the top oh well sure beats street scrapping for the day hey
happy with the serve up there that's down the bottom give you something interesting to scrap okay there's my van city today yay macbooks Start. Yeah, beautiful. Nice server. It's, it's good. Huh, okay, let's go back and get more. these It's just them generic kind of PCs. More laptops. Um. Yeah, no problem, mate. Eh? Okay. So th this will be it. That's all. That's it. Yep. But there will be some at the other campus. Oh, okay. We'll yeah, no problem. Yep. Oh, you got a system of revolving back. <laughs> yep. Back to front. <laughs> it's got to be done, otherwise they end up everywhere, you know. <laughs> okay. And some keyboards. Let's hope this doesn't fall on me. Okay. <laughs> oh, at least I don't have to walk so far. Sometimes I can park right up to the door. Just depends on the school. Okay. Oh, hi. I got some charger. Oh, okay. For um, the, the laptop. The laptop and some charger for the Mac. Oh, okay. 
Inside, eh? Yeah, that's great. Oh. Maybe you could use it. They, some of them, a lot of them, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. All right. Well, thanks for that. Okay. Awesome. The guys brought out. Uh, all the power supplies for the Asus laptops and also the power supplies for the MacBooks. Oh yeah, awesome. Ah, oh, that's even better. Save me looking for a power supply. Yeah, so... Looks like I'm going to have, uh, he said that, you know, they're all, most of them are kind of working. So, you know, clean them up a little bit. They're a little bit, you know, obviously scratched up because they're used. But, like, these Mac power supplies you know they're, they're so handy because whenever I get max a lot of times I don't get the power supplies so even you know if I can match one up with every laptop and then even if some laptops don't work I still keep these Mac power supplies and the Asus as well I might be able to get them get a couple of working just to get some value oh, at least we got some PCs PC <laughs> uh, I love my job <laughs> this is what it's all about no scrap steel well there is once you know, if I scrap some out, then a lot of it's scrap steel. All right, let's go back and get some more. Ah, well, that was a real bonus getting those power supplies. Is normally they they just they don't think of them and they leave them somewhere and then they end up throwing them out okay oh, there's a fresh box Always getting Cisco stuff. PCs. Dowel. Better get this printer. Brother, it's a nice printer.
So. Still three more printers, some laptops. Okay. okay. So it's uh, it's going to end up being four loads. Or four trips. <laughs> Be nice if it was four loads. Okay. This is where sometimes it gets a bit hairy when I put the trolley back down. You know, with these monitors they can always tip over and it gets embarrassing brother printer it might turn out to be a good printer might be worth keeping PCs Okay, huh. I'm puffed out already. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> All right, one more trip. Okay. Three more PCs. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Want that one on top. More laptops. Um, sure, I've got another PC out there holding the door open. That should be alright. With that PC. and clean might just go up and just tell them that I'm finished okay so I said goodbye thank you very much and we're done here now I'll go home and uh, have some fun big box of goodies Another PCs, another box of goodies, <laughs> and I just took away cardboard, and you see like it's pretty quick, already three boxes of, that I have to recycle, uh, yeah quite a lot of Macbooks, we'll have to check it out when I get back. Last PC. Oh. Okay. I can't forget my trolley. Oh, 
Job done. Here you go. Twenty minutes. Okay, well how good was that, hey? Can't complain. <laughs> yeah. Quite a few, you know, a few PCs. So, you know, that's always nice to see. Um, the laptops, well, because of the Apple laptops, they're good. Usually, like with laptops, a lot of them I just scrap out because they're not worth going through. And a lot of times I don't get the power supply. But in this case, uh, unusually, they brought out a box of power supplies just for the laptops. All good. So let's get back and unload the van and have a look at what we actually uh, kind of got. We just sort of spread it out a bit, get rid of the keyboards and the uh, monitors. I'll put them aside because they're just going to get scrapped out. Nothing I can do with the small size monitors anymore. I can sell them to my board buyer, but um, yeah, I, by the time I get to my board buyer, they'd be just sitting around too long. So it's just as easy to scrap them out. Get, and that way I know at least that they're recycled properly, you know, and see like keyboards, I've already got a mountain of keyboards, so there's never a shortage of them. That's why, you know, I, I've got to kind of slow down picking up keyboards when um, I'm doing street scrapping because, you know, it turns out that, you know, it, picking up, the more keyboards I pick up off the street, it just adds to the, the stuff that I pick up through the week. Good. And I, I actually got that server as well, so it's really nice to get a server. Um, a lot of times when I do school pickups, I usually get one server, so uh, that's really nice, happy about that. So let's get back, we're just around the corner now, and have a look at what we got. Okay, well, so I ended up getting 14 PCs, uh, very similar to the ones that I picked up uh, a couple of weeks ago from school. So the same thing, just generic, mixed brands. Um, yeah, they're all right, nice and complete. I did get this nice server, so it's got a Xeon. Uh, it's an older one, so there's there won't be very good RAM in there or stuff like that, but still. I uh, got all the power supplies for the laptops. Um, the Asus ones are, are really good, no problem about them, they're all in perfect condition, but the Apple ones, what's here, there's only six that I could, that are just okay, but a, a lot of them have, uh, uh, you know, they've got some damage, so a lot of them are not very good. Um, these are the only six that have got the little plug-ins, the other ones I've just had to throw them out because they've been cut up and they're all damaged so certainly couldn't match the power supplies to the laptops but uh, and i'm not even sure if any of these actually really work because i've tried to power up a couple of apples and uh, it doesn't seem they don't seem to work but um so i do have some new ones somewhere so i might just have to uh wait until i get I can find them that I can test these out. So, 10, oh, 16 um, Apple Power books. And yeah, they're, uh, they look all right. They're, they're nice, reasonably nice and clean. Um, I think just about all of them have got their keys and stuff, but I'm just not sure if they actually really work. And uh, like I said, I haven't been able to power them up, which is a problem. Um, and so these are model A1342. 1342. So, yeah, I'm just not sure what to do with these. Uh, I don't really want to scrap them out straight away and, you know, Obviously, I'm not going to get any value from scrapping them out, but um, yeah, I'm just not sure if they're 
you know, if these ones actually work. And th they should, there shouldn't be a problem. Maybe I just haven't been using the right power supply because these all look very dodgy and a bit faulty. So yeah, I think I'll just put them aside until I can work out. See if I can get a few w working, you know, uh, apples, anything apple is kind of worth keeping as a, a bit of a collectible. Obviously, I don't need this many. Some of them have been opened up. Like, this one's okay, but uh, I noticed another one had a few screws missing. So, maybe they've tried to repair it. Um, and they, uh, most of them have plastic covers. So, they've got little covers like that on the base. And also on the top so that's why they're they look in pretty good condition um, simply because yeah they've had these plastic covers so you know it's kept a relatively clean and all the scratches are here so uh, interesting so yep yeah, that's the um, MacBooks or power books or yeah MacBook I think they're, they're, they're all the same model. Just have to have a look. Yeah, they're all A1342. So, I'll spend a bit of time on them. The only problem with, you know, trying to spend time on them is that I can, you know, waste two or three hours trying to go through them and get them to see if they work. But, um, you know, that's a lot of time to go through and find the odd one that works. That's the only problem I find with laptops. You know, so I prefer, like, if they're reasonably good models, like a Apple's, I prefer to stockpile them, put them aside, and then one day down the track, I might go through them and see if I can get them up and running and, you know, then they can be sold as collectibles but the problem is that the the software it's got uh, education network software on it and they're also password protected so you can't just i can't just go in and play around with them um i need to uh wipe the actual software off and you know i haven't learned to do that especially on max um, even with these asus's two four six eight ten twelve thirteen Oh, there's, uh, I think there's one more inside, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, these ones do work, but again, the same problem is that I can't um, get through the software, but I've plugged in a couple and they, they power up, beautiful, no problem, Windows 7 loads up, uh, they've got dual core Pentiums, the ATI Radeon graphics, so... They're, they're not bad, they're the Asus F5 Entertainment System. So the Entertainment System, I think that means, you know, it's just about this graphics card. So, um, you know, these might make good little, you know, gaming, you know, basic gaming. Obviously, they're not going to be good enough for uh, high-end games. But, yeah, these all seem to work. And no problem there. The only issue is password protected and it's got the educational network software. So you've got to wipe that out because you can't access the, obviously the educational um, network. Um, you know, that it's, you know, it's copyrighted and all that. Unless you've got authorization, you can't do that. So somehow I've got to completely wipe out the, the hard drive and reset with uh, a new windows you know but that's just very time consuming for me because i'm you know i'm always busy i've got a lot of things to do so here yeah, the asus f5 rl notebook pc windows vista business um yeah but i think the f5 rl it's it's a, actually a pretty good model it's not like a really cheap school educational laptop you know how you get the real little, little ones and you do get some cheaper model i think these are a, a good model and it probably shows like these would have been earlier and 
you know if the school's buying MacBooks uh, then it's a pretty good school and so these ones would have been good so I think these are definitely good ones um, were or were good at their time you know they probably don't have much of a RAM they might only have one gig might not even have that half a gig so anyway that's that so we've got some laptops to play with also got some Apple uh, keyboards uh, I think there's only one that doesn't have a missing key but you know one key isn't so bad but they're pretty dirty uh, there's really no scrap value uh, so I, I like I like to try and keep pretty much everything Mac and uh, yeah so I've got the PCs to play with on top of quite a lot of other PCs out there um, but that was it guys that was my little pickup for the day and it's you know it's midweek <coughs> and you know this what keeps me busy and uh, what that you know also I oh, also got a lot of keyboards and uh, about a dozen monitors so I mean I picked up these quite a few weeks ago I haven't had a chance you know on top of uh, street scrapping um, usually I'm just trying to catch up on larger items and you know get rid of the odd PC or get rid of the microwaves slowly to fill them up with stuff um, so you know they're all the PCs from the last time see they're very similar these two models down there from the last school pickup I did but I do have some empty space uh, so it's uh, reasonably good I've just got to get onto the monitors start scrapping monitors so these are the ones that I picked up today and they're just you know just piled up here in the cage till I get a chance but you know PCs it doesn't really bother me keyboards is a different thing I've really got to get onto the keyboards but PCs they can just sit here if I know that I'm only going to scrap them out they can just sit here they don't bother me at all still got my garage obviously that's full of um, surveillance stuff and all those cameras so it's just today it's just another thing all I'll have a chance to do here is sort out um, these things put these away till I've got time to go through them along with the power supply and then I'll just leave these PCs here ready to be scrapped out same as the server and uh, anything else like a box of cables there that I've got to process from this batch <coughs> and get myself all ready for the weekend hobby scrap go out there and do some more street scrapping you know um, all right well I better get busy so uh, keep scrapping guys have fun go out there yourself and advertise for e-waste and stuff like that and uh, just like me you'll uh, eventually get trickles of free e-waste you know um, you know so it's not a giant pickup what did I say uh, two four ten fourteen PCs that's not a lot that's about the smallest amount of PCs you'd get from a school um, but if you add on to the with the laptops then it's not bad and especially with these good Asus's or Asus's or Asus <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it but uh, we like a, a good bunch of asses um, so yeah it you know it's enough to keep you going you know or keep me going for a while especially if I wasn't doing street scrapping at the moment you know uh, by then I, I would have already done the other PCs and it just would have been a nice little batch for the week and um, just to keep me going anyway guys I better go get to it so I'll catch you next time soon.